Today we are doing a budget duck boat build. So what I did was I went and bought this boat the other day. And uh, here she is. It's just 12 foot aluminum boat. It's actually a pretty good shape. And as far as the budget goes, I got that guy for $80. I've seen the other ones online and they're going... On uh, Facebook Marketplace, there and they were going for like 350. I saw this thing for 80 bucks and I had to snatch it right up. So it's all in good shape. I don't, no one believes it has any leaks. Um, so, what I'm going to do first thing I'm going to do is go to the hardware store. We're going to get some spray paint. Um, I'm going to paint all this. I've already kind of degreased, pressure washed, and it's all dry now. So now we're gonna paint it with a base of probably um, like a tannish brown, and then we're gonna get some green and some black to go over the top of that. And uh, yeah, this thing's gonna look sweet. I want you guys to go ahead and drop a comment down below because I'm gonna need to put lights on this thing for getting out to our duck spot in the morning. And I also want you to comment um, what you, I should put on it for like a blind. Should I do one of those scissor blinds with like the X pattern, or should I do something else um if you guys got a good idea i kind of want to make this boat um with ideas through the channel and through my subscribers so i think i think that'd be pretty cool so here she is again if you have any ideas um go ahead and drop them down there in the comment section so guys i did forget to tell you but if you're not already make sure to hit the subscribe button uh because this this here build probably gonna be like a two-part build all right guys just got back from the hardware store and we got the paint so this is what we went with obviously we got to do camouflage so we went with the rust-oleum uh camouflage paint so you got your uh heck even color is this i'm not even sure what color it is but it's like a light olive green i guess then you got a little bit darker green right here and then we got of course the black and they didn't have the brown which is whatever i guess but we bought a non um non-gloss so it's a flat uh just a flat brown paint so we're gonna do the base with this here the uh green or the olive green so everything's all pretty well clean and uh it's, it's as clean as it has to be um as far as painting goes i pressure washed the outside I pressure washed the inside there's still a little bit of um debris but on the bottom here but jumping in and out of this boat the bottom's gonna get scratched like immediately anyways i don't care what you do so we're gonna go ahead start painting this bad boy all right guys so you always want to make sure when you're spray painting make sure you shake up your can i already buried i've already uh pre-shaken this one so also, when you go to paint, you want to make sure you're moving before you spray. So, moving, spray, stop, bef stop before you, stop spraying before you stop moving. So just like that. Can already tell this is gonna look pretty good. Basically, gonna do that to the whole boat. All right, guys, as you can see, I got the base coat done on the boat there. Um, now we're, that's the uh, olive green. Now we're going to go through with either the black or the brown with this here. I'm not going to use stencils. I'm just going to use this here uh, to break it up. And then I'm going to grab a tree branch and actually do some tree branch designs in it. I figure that looks pretty cool. So stay tuned. All right, guys, and that's what it looks like right now, right after I did that uh, 
little piece of grid on it. I think it looks pretty sweet so far. I think it looks pretty good. Just enough to break it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go grab a tree branch and uh, use the tree branch to also do some more patterning on it. And yes, I know this isn't painted. It's because I ran out of paint. I got to get another can and I should do it. But uh, not really that worried about that right now. Anyways, mainly the outside because the blind's going to go over this anyways. So even if I just use whatever paint I have left at the end and just whatever, cover it up, it'll be fine. Because the blind, like I said, the blind's going to be going over it. So, all right, I'm going to grab a stick and start stenciling on some uh, other stuff. All right, guys. I got my uh, stick here. Nice leaf. Probably gonna use black on this one because I got brown underneath it and green. So. All right, boys, there she is. It's pretty cool little camo pattern. Look at that, look at that detail. This is real life objects, not stencils. I really like it, it's cool. The seat, you can really see what it looks like. Oh, it's hot out here, but uh, now I'm gonna go just get a, like some grass, I'm gonna add like blades into it um i got some lilies right down here so i'm gonna use those probably and uh yeah i think that should look pretty good too all right guys here's my stencil right here that's what i'm gonna be using to paint the uh uh cattail looking things All right, guys, so that's the final product right there, the camouflage. I think that looks freaking sweet. I mean, you guys comment down below. Tell me if that looks pretty good for a waterfowl. I think it does. It's got leaves. It's got sticks. It's got, like, a cattail type deal. I mean, I think that looks pretty dang good. I love it. I love it. Now we're up, we're up to $127 boat right now. I'm gonna take what I have left for spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint the inside of this and uh, if I have any extra, we'll uh, go ahead and grid the inside of it too. All right guys, so there we have the final product of the paint job. Well, I shouldn't say final. I'm gonna pick up one more can of box spray paint and do the uh, leaves, leaf pattern. Um, and I'm probably gonna pick up another can of brown maybe and uh, do that back. Or it might, I don't know. I'm going to do something. But, yeah. So, I'll give you one last look at it. I think that looks freaking amazing. That camo mesh I'm going to use is probably going to drape down to here anyways. But, if it doesn't, it's definitely, uh, that'll definitely work. I love how that, this came out, actually. I just love it. So, but yeah, so this was part one of this video. I am going to split it into two because it, otherwise it'd be an extremely long video. And I don't know if that's what you guys really want to watch. I think short videos are better for you guys from what I um, see. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The next part of this build is going to be the um, actual blind itself. I'm thinking I'm doing like a scissor uh, frame type deal. So what will happen is... I'm going to put a bar across here, bar across there in the back. Um, then I'm going to have a scissor, like an X shape. Um, one coming from this side up, and then one coming from this side up. And then I'll have two cross members. I don't know. 
we're gonna figure it out but uh definitely for now hit the subscribe button i hope you liked this video on how to paint um your duck boat and also i don't even know what i'm gonna call this video probably building a budget duck boat part one so far guys we got only 147 dollars into this boat but yeah guys we'll catch you on the next one hope you enjoyed thanks for watching i appreciate every one of you guys uh, make sure to leave a comment down below of what you think i should add on to this duck boat we'll catch you on the next one